Let us learn about the types of software. First of all, what is software? We all react differently to different situations. Have you ever thought how it becomes possible? Let us understand this with the help of an example. What happens when your teacher asks a question and you know its answer? You simply raise your hand, isn't it? What prompts you to raise your hand? It is the brain that gives you the instruction to react in this manner. Similarly, a computer gets all the instructions from the software to perform various tasks. Software is the soul of a computer without which it cannot exist. Computer is a machine that does not possess any intelligence of its own. A computer without instructions is like a car without a driver. It requires a set of instructions given by a user to work on. These sets of instructions are called programs, which are written in the computer languages. Software is a collection of programs that are stored and run on the computer hardware and help users to work on the computer. Software is that part of a computer which cannot be touched or seen. Software is of two types, system software and application software. Do you know who is he? He is Vinod Dham. He is popularly known for his role in the development of the Pentium processor and is considered the father of Pentium. Talk about system software. System software is defined as a collection of programs that controls the overall operations and internal working of a computer system. It reads data from input devices and transfers the processed information to the output devices. System software is of three main types, operating system, language processor and utility software. Students know the fact the term software was first used by John W. Turkey in 1957. Operating System An operating system is needed to operate a computer. It controls the overall activities of a computer. It acts as a link between the user and the hardware and enables them to work together. When the computer is switched on, the operating system is the first program that gets loaded in its memory. Now let us look at an example for clear understanding. An operating system works like the principal of your school. As the principal has various responsibilities to manage the school, like supervising the students, teachers and workers, maintaining discipline, setting the examination schedule, timetable, curriculum and attending to parents and visitors etc. In the same manner, an operating system performs various functions to manage the working of a computer. Imagine what will happen if there is no principal in a school. Everything will be mismanaged. Similarly, if the operating system of a computer is not working properly, you cannot work on it. MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Unix, Linux, Mac OS are examples of some popular operating systems. Ok students, let us now learn the functions of operating system. The main functions of an operating system are Device Management input and output 
An operating system controls the working of all input and output devices. Memory Management An operating system assigns memory to various programs whenever required. It also frees the memory when it is not in use. Run Software An operating system runs the application software like Paint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, etc. Processor Management An operating system manages the working of the processor by allocating various jobs to it. File Management An operating system keeps track of information regarding creation, deletion, transfer, copy and storage of files in an organized way. Security it provides security by means of passwords to prevent misuse of a computer. OK, let us find out the types of operating systems. Single user Single user operating system allows only one user to use computer system at any given time. This is the most common type of operating system that is used in homes and offices. Multi-user A multi-user operating system allows multiple users on different computers to access a system at the same time. These computers are connected to the main computer through a network. The multi-user operating system can handle the various needs and requests of all the users simultaneously. Linux and Unix are the examples of multi-user operating system. In this type of system, resources of the main computer are shared among the users. For example, in a computer lab, a single printer is attached with all the computer devices. Multitasking Multitasking operating system allows a user to run more than one application programs at the same time. In multitasking, the operating system keeps track of the program you are in and allows you to switch from one program to another without losing information. For example, while writing a letter to your friend, you can enjoy music at the same time as well. You may also send the print request to the printer while doing all of the above tasks. For example, Windows is a multitasking operating system. Students, do you know? Charles W. Batchman received Turning Award in 1973 for his outstanding contribution in database technology.